Hi friends, it's Mrs. Curry here. Today I wanted to share with you a book about feeling scared. It's called Fair Feel Scared by Karma Wilson and Jane Chapman. And scared, as you guys know, is in the yellow zone. It is when your body starts to feel a little bit out of control and you are feeling like you can't think very well and you need some strategies to help you get back in the green zone. So we will talk about some of those strategies at the end. Fair feels scared. In the deep dark woods by the strawberry veil, a bear lumbers down a small, crooked trail. Bear's tummy growls and he looks for a snack, but it's cold, cold, cold. So the bear turns back. He is not home yet when the sun starts to set and the bear feels scared. Look at his eyes. His face is showing that he feels scared. Bear shakes and he shivers as a storm starts to howl. Bear mutters, what is that? Are there spooks on the prowl? The path gets dimmer and the sky grows gray, but he can't find his way. He huddles by a tree and he wails, poor me. He looks very worried. Worried is in the yellow zone. And the bear feels scared. Meanwhile, back in the warm, cozy lair, friends start to worry for their poor, lost bear. It is late. Mouse squeaks, and our bear doesn't roam. There's a storm, cries Hare. Shouldn't Bear be home? All of his friends care about him and are concerned. Wren tweets from his perch. We must all go search. What if Bear feels scared? The friends bundle up and begin to prepare. They form a search party for their lost friend, Bear. But Bear is all alone and he sheds big tears. There's a noise in the forest and he has big fears. Bear tumbles in the wind. How he longs for a friend and the bear feels scared. Badger lights a lamp and he shouts, let's go. All the birds search high while the rest search low. Look at how brave all those friends are. With a flounce and a flutter, they set off together. They trudge down the trail through the wild, wet weather. They call, ho oh, bear. Are you there? Are you there? And the bear feels scared. But he perks up his ears. Is it Mole calling out? And is that Hare's voice? Does Bear hear him shout? Wren, Owl, and Raven all squawk from the sky. It is Bear. He is there and they sigh big sighs. Oh, they are so relieved to find Bear. They are feeling happy to find him. By a tree waits Bear, 10 feet from the lair, and the bear looks scared. With a flap and a flurry, all the friends gather near. They give him bear hugs. They calm his bear fears.
Later in the night, all clustered in a heap, the bear spins stories while his friends fall asleep. Bear looks much happier now. He is in the green zone. Cuddled up tight, they snore through the night, and the bear feels safe. So that is our story about being scared and strategies you can use when you feel scared. You can ask an adult for help. You can ask for a hug. You can do deep breathing. And you can ask for help. These are all things that you can do. And I'm sure you can think of more things you could do too. You can share them with me and have your parents email them to me. I hope you enjoyed the story. Bye, friends.